We are True Blue Singaporeans and speaking on the behalf of Josephine Deal, the Minister of Manpower for a Minimum Wage Issue, that I want to say that anyone and whoever out there, including Jameis Lim, advocating on minimum wage for Singapore is a total senseless and childish act to have it to be implemented in Singapore. Why not he thought about the maximum wage like the government salary, the minister's salary, and also the MP's salary and the bonus which is now getting instead. Like many Singaporeans, Jameis Lim is one of the kind of the hate theory we are realizing he's too being idealistic to bring out this kind of issue. Everyone likes to have minimum wage, but so what? Such a scheme is sick and disgusting. If you've ever been to the US and used their service, you will know what I mean. I've even asked some Americans why they need to tip the server so high like 20% or even 30% of the bill. However, they give me an answer that they are working for minimum wage. Then I was like, huh? So what? They already got their pay. Why should we have to tip them even for a haircut? Minimum wage is horrible and sellers for Singaporeans and many other countries and it could cause a lot of knock-on effects. Otherwise, there will not be so many beggars in the US. Minimum wage system is encouraging employers not to hire more workers unless you want to see the minimum to be set at 100 bucks monthly. Are there any Singaporeans working for $100 or even $500 for 30 days now? The answer is no. If so, it will be classified as human abuse. Moreover, the Singapore government is compensating for those low pay workers in many other ways. Do you think the government who continued in providing the workers benefits if they were pay with a minimum wage? The poorest people would not gain any good benefits from the government anymore. Whereas those with good knowledge would be the one with the most advantage. The educated ones will use the minimum wage to demand their salary for the employers like a kind of abuse of system. You get my point? What really matters to Singapore? Singaporeans is CPF. The companies in Singapore are paying CPF to workers regardless of what the pay is. The CPF is a bit fatter stressing employers not to hire Singaporeans. Although many Singaporeans always like to complain about the CPF, cashing out and the money who end up in the government savings, many workers are still wanting to have CPF benefits because they could get more of their salary from the employer. The CPF has already given many small setup companies a lot of headache to the extent they have to minimize their labor force in order to be competitive in the market. If there is a minimum wage system in Singapore, the unemployment rate will worsen or the companies will hire more foreigners or use the party agency or even encourage the use of black market to avoid the legal minimum hence there will be a lot of social and illegal problems going on in singapore you know what i'm saying huh minimum wage system will not reduce poverty besides the us i've mentioned earlier the philippines is full of poor people beggars and even Swindlers. A lot of them are jobless despite there being a minimum wage. As such, the Philippines employers are hiring workers based on hourly basis and on freelance basis, resulting in the employment rate in Philippines to be very bad. If the minimum wage system is really that good, not most of the Filipinos will be enjoying life like many Singaporeans are having. A decent apartment to stay in at least, right? Sometimes it's really a hard nut to crack when it comes to debate with people who have full of hate knowledge but no life experience. At least I stayed in five countries before, okay? I live but not for vacation. Ha 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 ha. Hi.